Hey guys, welcome back to another video with College Advisor, where today I will be discussing how to approach the Common App essay so that you can maximize your chances of being admitted at top universities. If you're new here, my name is Caden Ketchman and I am a freshman at Columbia University, as well as a designated scholar, a title given to 0.3% of applicants this admission season. If you want to know a bit more about me, I suggest you go back and watch my first video where I talked you all through my Common App and share lots of useful tips for how to structure yours. But for now, let's get into how you can use your Common App essay to stand out in hyper-competitive admissions. Let's start by talking a little bit about the structure and the purpose of the Common App essay. The Common App essay is a 650-word essay in which you are asked to talk about essentially whatever you want. This essay goes to every school on your list except the ones that don't use the Common Application but nearly every school asks for an essay like this regardless. This is potentially the most important piece of the application that you can actively control until the very last moment, uh, unlike GPA and recommendations, which rely more heavily on your continued efforts the last four years. In the Common App essay, you are able to speak directly to your admissions officers about what you care about most, and you have the opportunity to craft a hopefully authentic narrative of the person that you are. Probably the most important thing to keep in mind when you're starting this essay is that you will have supplements later on. This matters because if you are using this essay to answer a question that is likely to be asked in a supplement, you are shooting yourself in the foot. It is also worth considering that this is likely the longest essay opportunity that you will have, so if there is a story that you want to tell that requires background or a lot of words to explain, you should use your Common App essay to do this. That being said, the Common App essay is not the place to tell your whole life story. This essay is a snapshot, hopefully one of an experience or a belief that is very recent. Your AO wants to know who you are right now, not who you were at 10 years old. So I recommend choosing an experience that is recent and using that experience to hook your AO into learning something profound about you. For example, I talked about how I failed to finish reading The Myth of Sisyphus by Camus, my first and favorite philosophy book. I used this experience to discuss my experience with religion, my love of learning, and how I am constantly exploring new ways to understand myself and the world around me. I used this space to talk about failure and how I view life as a series of suffering overtaken by an unshakable appreciation of life as a temporary and beautiful thing. At the end of my essay, I was able to develop a theme that supported my conclusion that just like Sisyphus forever pushing a boulder up a hill, I will find joy in failure, struggle, and most importantly, being alive. This essay required quite a lot of reflection for me to write, and getting it down to 650 words was certainly no easy task. So I'll share with you my super secret guide to writing the Common App essay. Start by writing a complete draft. Forget about word count and write until you have told your whole story. Write everything you felt and thought as well as what literally happened. Now that you have this draft, you have a pretty clear idea of what you want to say. Now, paragraph by paragraph, rewrite it into something a bit more clear in terms of the narrative. For every sentence you feel is awkward or shallow, open another document and write literally everything you can about the topics in that sentence. Write everything you felt, saw, smelled, experienced, and what conflicts arose, and how that individual moment changed you. If that moment doesn't have enough substance to write at least a paragraph extrapolating on it, then delete it. But if it does, condense that whole paragraph into one sentence again, this time with the most important pieces from that paragraph. This is a direct guide to reflection, something usually very unclear to applicants. Because this process tends to be very time consuming, I recommend starting this essay very early. I would start around March of your junior year so that it's mostly done before the summer. In the summer, you need to start looking at supplements and start finalizing the core pieces of your common application. You may be thinking, yeah, this is all fine and good, but how do you come up with the topic? Unfortunately, there isn't much I can say about this, except that your topic really doesn't matter. I started writing down lots of ideas very early on, and to be honest, that got me nowhere. One day it just kind of hits you. What matters is that you do that thing where you're reflecting a lot. 
because it's mostly about reflection. But there are a few general topics that I recommend if you really can't think of something and you're running out of time. The first is to write about your hometown and how you fit in or don't fit in and how that experience changed you because no matter who you are, where you grow up influences the person that you become. I also recommend writing about a time that you changed your mind about something, though for this one you have to make sure that you're careful to be kind to your initial opinion. Um, I was once lost and now I am found is not realistic. Talk about the way that you change as a person that led to you changing your mind. Both of these topics provide a huge opportunity for reflection, but I encourage you to find a topic more specific to yourself. When you write this, however, make sure you spend most of your space writing about your reflections and limit how much space you are using to just tell the narrative. While I'm sure that you have an interesting story to tell, the essay is at its core about you. It's not about grandma or your vacation to Spain that changed your life. For this reason, it is also crucial that you write in your own hopefully sophisticated but also natural voice. Avoid sounding like you wrote your essay with a thesaurus next to your laptop. This is not an academic piece of writing, this is a reflection that should sound a bit like you're talking to your AO as a friend. Not so casual that you use slang though, of course. Along the same vein, your admissions officer should not have to question if your story is real or if it was written by you, a high school senior. All of your essays should be written with about the same tone of voice, and if you don't maintain this consistency, your admissions officer may question if you're being authentic in the persona that you're crafting for them. Similarly, your Common App essay creates a foundation for which all of your supplements should be built on. This means that the values that you describe in your Common App essay need to be values that you actually hold so that your supplements complement your application, not raise doubt about your authenticity. Lastly, remember that the Common App essay is often not the tipping point for if someone is being accepted or rejected from a school, assuming that there isn't a major red flag in your essay, like blatant self-centeredness or evidence of other clearly negative traits. Remember that if you are not really much of a writer, you aren't at much of a disadvantage because your AO will recognize that you are much stronger in other areas. Regardless though, be sure to take this essay seriously and give yourself time to spend on it. You can do this. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you all got a lot from this video. I know this was kind of a lot to take in, but this essay is a lot less scary than it seems, I promise. If you have any questions for me, just leave them in the comments and I will try to get to everyone. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.